been like just preparing for another season, CJ? Obviously, I saw you a little banged up, but clearly yeah. you're okay. So just uh, Man, you know, it feels great. Good, but good to be out here with the guys. You know, um, our focus is on us right now. You know, we're trying to prepare ourselves as best we can for Fresno State. You'd mentioned before camp, back at media day, just managing your body mm -hmm. was part of it. How have you gone about that differently this year than years past? Uh, definitely just been taking the time to come in earlier, you know, in the mornings, uh, get my body warmed up, stretched out, uh, have the trainers work on me if need be. Uh, just trying to get nice and loose before I got there at practice. You guys didn't have a chance to really establish an offensive identity last season, in part because of your thumb injury. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like the identity of this offense will be this season? Um, I think it's going to be what we've been trying to have it be, you know, just a tough physical brand of football. You know, that's what Coach Cristobal has been preaching. Coach Moorhead's um, really uh, helping us fine-tune all those things and all those details. I think we've got a great, uh, great plan coming together. CJ, what are your thoughts on all those freshmen that are behind you guys on the depth chart? Uh, great, man. Nothing but great things to say about those guys. You know, they come in ready to work every day, uh, very intuitive, you know, picking up the playbook nice and uh, fast. And uh, Coach Master was very pleased with those guys. What do you say? You've seen you ran behind maybe the most experienced offensive line in the country. Last year it was the least experienced. Just what's that growth you've seen from the 2020 group to, to this year in camp? Uh, definitely a lot of growth and a lot of improvement. You know, those guys take their job very seriously. Coach Mirabal is always on them hard, too. Um, they come in here to uh, work hard every day, so I, I can't say nothing enough about those guys. You see, you see marked improvement? Oh, definitely, definitely. Where at? Uh, just uh, talking about offensive line? Yeah. Alex Forsyth, you know, he definitely could take control of that whole line. You know, having them come in, meetings, whatever, stay after practice, do extra stuff. Definitely taking control of it. He's a real leader of it. Does this week feel like more of a normal traditional game week compared to like compared to last year's where you had to ramp up so fast? Is it, you guys feel like you're where you want to be right now? Or oh, definitely, definitely feels like you know getting back into the groove of things. You know, normal game week, uh, good Tuesday practice. You know, come out tomorrow and do it all over again. What do you think of Fresno State? What do you see out of those guys? Uh, very, uh, very physical. You know, they run to the ball hard. Uh, the defense is very, very physical, very fast. You know, they play hard. So uh, we got a good matchup. You know, we can uh, do everything we can to prepare for prepare, prepare ourselves. When they create as much disruption as they do, particularly off the edge, and when you're in pass blocking, how do you go about approaching it when you see guys off the edge like three and 99? Uh, when you see that, you know, just watching film, you know, picking up on some of the tendencies, you know, some of their tails that they give, um, and just making sure we uh, go out there and be physical with them, you know, because they're going to be physical with us. Do you feel overlooked at all heading into the season, CJ? I know it's because of the injury, mm -hmm. but do you feel like you've been forgotten a little bit by people that uh, you, the way you closed out the 19 year? To be honest, and I don't really uh, feed into that, you know, the media or the, the outside noise or whatever anybody else is saying. You know, I just try to come out here, you know, be the best I can for my teammates and just focus on myself.